I just had a question. I'm just trying to tell all these young cats out there, trying to come up, you know, like, where do you think they gotta go to? From your point of view, you know what I'm saying? What is the best advice you could give them? Cause I be telling them, like my best advice is they gotta do it a whole new way, a different way, like, like, like they from another planet. But coming from you, coming from the man of, of, of men right now, tell them something, tell them something good. Man, first of all, you want to stay away from these diddy bop motherfuckers. Motherfuckers dancing all on the motherfucking stage and shit. They want your ass. We call them astronauts. So be afraid. Be very afraid. You really ain't built for the game. Or something. Something. Something no, like that. No, we trying to be famous. Like you gonna run into a motherfucker like that. Diddy is right now, uh, as we speak, at a hospital in Miami. And he is there because his mother had to be rushed to that hospital on Wednesday. From what we are told from our sources uh, connected to Diddy, his mother started experiencing chest pains at some point on Wednesday. Uncertain at this point exactly what time, but at some point Wednesday, she was having these pains and made the decision that she needed to go to a hospital, to the emergency room. She lives in Miami, not with Diddy. She has her own residence, but she went to the hospital and was getting treatment there. Um, Diddy did make it to the hospital, uh, went there to be by her side, and she is still in the hospital. We're told that she's going to be there at least until tomorrow. Pro probably for observation. observation. And, 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 I guess, and, and look, testing and is going on. We don't know, but I think you guys are probably thinking exactly what we're thinking, she, which is it just takes its toll she is on an the family. She's an 83-year-old woman. That's right. You got to think. Like, you can't go, she can't go online. She can't go out in public without someone mentioning the Diddy allegations. You know, we know that they're very close. You know, a few years back, Diddy gave her a million dollars and a Bentley. So, you know, it's it's understandable that he would rush to her side in Miami. The way this source described it to us is that she's, as you would expect, she's 83 and in the hospital having these chest pains, she's afraid of what's going on um, and that she really wanted him to be by her side and that he's sort of comforting, comforting her through this. Um, but the other thing that we we're told is that she, the doctors are still doing tests, but she has said to the doctors that she believes that this is all related to the stress of, uh, you know, as Trent said, opening everything she looks at is about allegations yeah. that her son it's more is than facing. more than believable. Yeah, I mean, it seems and yeah, these are the kind of the ripple effects of something like this on family and whatnot. She was really that you know for the longest time after the raids, uh, when he was just staying at his house in Miami, she was one of the only people we saw hanging out with him. Mm -hmm. uh, there would be photos of them sort of hanging out around his house. Good or bad, she's yeah. always been by his side, you know? Like, you know, he's had a 30-year run in hip-hop, and, you know, she's been right there. Hi there, this is Dami Rock calling in from New York, and it's really sad that Diddy's mom is suffering in this way because stress is a killer, and so it's quite clear that, you know, this is just compounded with everything that's happened with Diddy. But, you know, we have to also have the compassion because I know there's a lot of people out there saying, well, you know, this is karma. But let's be real. You know, everyone loves their mom. And in this case, you know, it's all about the moms. You had Kanye and his mom, right? Like, and how he suffered in the aftermath of his mom being taken ill. And so we've got to look at, like, what this is going to mean for um, Diddy's mental state. And also, let's ask the question, what is um, Biggie Small's mom? What could she be thinking at this moment? Christopher Wallace's mom, Violeta Wallace, who thought that Sean, who he's known to as from, you know, his mom and Jay-Z only, they know him as Sean. She thought Sean was really, um, you know, his son's good friend. But it's somehow right now, it seems like that was not the case. So yeah, I, I you're right about stress. For her. You are yeah, right about I stress. I feel badly for her because yeah. she's, she, as far as we know, an innocent victim. He's collateral damage. Collateral she's, damage, yeah. exactly. Tough, and I hate that shit. Bitch ass, trying to hit you with that bullshit. Nobody ain't hard on you. We don't want to talk about that. Bullshit, bro. Say, listen. He said he would walk for you. He said he would have ran down on the floor. You, 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 you didn't admit it. You didn't admit it to being in that by Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody. You didn't, you didn't admit it to being in that by Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody. You didn't fight them that. No, you didn't fight them that to Hollywood. It's a yeah. tough mm -hmm. ad. When they were trying to f you, did you fight? Cat Williams did I stick when, you? When they were trying to f you, did Cat you fight? Cat Williams did I when stick they were, 
you, you fight. Wait, so you yeah. stuck? Are you saying you stuck? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you stuck? Yeah, you yeah, you yeah, you yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 you you have to prank it. Since you would have fought that nigga hit me, did you fight niggas who the only thing that looks good? No, 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 don't try to switch up. Listen, did you fight did you fight did you fight them executives that were trying to beat up? Did you fight Bible Street? Shout out. You got you got shot. I'd rather get beat up in local. I run against now, I'm now. Off, so I bought that and now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you listen? You got. F I much rather get hit upside the head than get fucked in the head. Damn. Yeah. No, -uh, listen. You Damn got. Yeah. He said no. You got. Damn yeah. You, you admitted it though. You gave me good. No, no, no. You got. You gave me good. You admitted like that one. That you were five, so I know you couldn't keep that. Ooh. Gotcha. When you were five, wow, and your wow, mama, your mama them man. left you by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo mama, yeah. your mama them left you How by you yourself with it? them dead oh, white folks, and them white folks with the on you, and you trying to act. I feel oh, it. Hell hey, no. I'm hearing Boy. it. Time out. Yeah, we might. Let me cut it. Let me cut it. Can I do one second? Can I do? I want the mic. One second. One second. Are you running? Are you running? Who's running? What? Are you running when you got it? Are you feel? Do you feel too much? It's a run. I left him he was as a yeah. child, homie. That's why he keep I bringing up this shit. Kids. That's why he keep bringing this shit up. The Muslim in a fourteen year old. He is this <laughs> been and he can't take it. All these been to Hollywood. Been a lot of all of them raving some up. The early on. they went in. I ain't been to Hollywood yet. I'm trying to get in though, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to get in without getting. I right. tried to give you daddy because you didn't have two kids. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Say, homie, you did, you did. Homie, no, no, homie, listen. I see it, I see it. Homie, this, this running from that darkness, that's why he brain up and talking to parables. It's a deflection. I ain't never been I don't know how the lights go out. I don't know how the lights go out when your ass get pushed in. Mm. But you're going into some darkness. Mm. Mm. But you're going into some darkness, especially yeah. if you didn't want it. He so what that happened, homie? They done went to Hollywood at such an early age in life. Man, he been man, they been they been they been on these babies in Hollywood. That's why you don't send your kids to Disney. Here come Jamie Foxx. He drank and drank that shit away. Drank that pain Here away. Here come Jamie Foxx. Man, mash that pain. Have, 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 have oh, you yeah, mash that pain? You oh, can't Jamie be sober. Fox. I understand that. Orlando, with all the shit that you that. said, <laughs> with all the shit that you said. In all these interviews and anything that you've ever gone in front of, anytime you were ever in front of a mic, have you ever had the opportunity, based on these things you said, to go to therapy and sit in therapy? Bro, the only thing that I could do is, you know, I can say, here come Jamie Foxx, you know, you can't see the crack. You were in my house, right? Smoking meth. Who? Masking you. that pain. <laughs> you were in my house smoking meth. I told you not to, right? Why are you smoking meth? Are you doing it to mask the pain? Why, why, after all the times I told you not to do it, why did you do they it? They turn that pain Raven into Simone. a sick pleasure. Raven, Raven Simone, Simone as it. a man. You know, the trans world that we live in, bro, the trans world that we live in, it's cool to... We don't... I don't live in no trans world. Hold on one second. Can I talk? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Give you know, the trans report. world that we actually live in, bro, is kind of different. It's kind of different, bro. You know, like to be a man and then have to act like a woman and then actually be a man and then have kids. Y'all saw the man. This little boy. This little boy fucked up, man. Yeah, man, that's why. Hey. This is why. Uncle. This, listen, this is why Uncle. white people. This is why white Uncle. people. Can I finish? This is why white people Can didn't want to in, in, uh, uh, integrate with black people because we was going to be exposed that's to this crazy. type of world. Yeah. Black people wasn't yeah. supposed to never go to Hollywood. We were supposed to stay in the yeah, black. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it switches on and off. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, go ahead. Give yeah, me yeah. my... When Usher passed Justin Bieber over to Diddy. <laughs> hey, Diddy. I brought you a present. He's my new protege. Justin Bieber. Sing for him, Justin. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, I said, baby, baby, baby. Oh. oh, that's good right there. That's good. I like how you say that, baby. Yeah, I really like how you say that, baby. Come on, come with me. Let me show you to the boys, come on. Good job, Usher, good looking. Of course, Diddy, of course. I said, baby, 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 oh. Everybody, everybody, calm down, calm down. I got the hottest, young, sensual piece of white uh, chocolate right here. Mm, I want a taste of some white chocolate. Whoa there, Mr. Diddy. <laughs> Now we know we gonna have a grand pizza party tonight, right? 
Oh, it's a pizza party? Where's the pizza? Nigga, you the pizza. It's you, nigga. Mom? Dad? Mom and Dad? Mom and Dad left you here with me. Welcome to Diddy's Flavor King. Oh, flick that here again. Flick it again. Yeah, oh, I like that one. Yeah, when you think about bringing up my lows, just a little bit Yo, more. Yo, Justin! Justin! Where you been? Justin, it's me. It's Diddy. Once again, the gods spread the cheeks to ram cop in fucking ass. Huh. I ain't see you in a while. You avoiding me? Um, <clears throat> hey, hey, Mr. Diddy. Why we ain't partying like we used to? You coming tonight, right? Yeah, no, I still like to party with you, but I, I can't come t tonight, though. <laughs> I said you coming tonight, right? Um, uh, no, um, look, I, I can't be there tonight, though. I, I can't. You gonna be there, right? L last time we partied, Mr. Diddy, it was very hard on me. Like, really hard on me. Like, super hard. Look at me. I said you gonna be there, right? Okay, okay, Mr. Diddy, I'll be there. That's real good. It's gonna be a good party tonight, Justin. Great party. You know, you know what kind of party it's gonna be, right? Freak off. It was at that time that I knew if I didn't do something, it was gonna keep happening to me. So, what did you do, Justin? I started bringing my own pizza and birthday cake to the parties, even if it wasn't his birthday. Why was that? Because I knew for all of them, especially him, it was so yummy. Yum, 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 yummy. It would be so yummy, yum, yum, Justin. yum, 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 Justin. yum, yum, Justin. <laughs> so by birthday cake and pizza, what are we really referring to here? You saw the videos. You know what we're talking about here. You're gonna get me in trouble. You know what? Get this mic off me. Turn off those cameras. I'm done with this interview.